What's up guys, how is it going? It's Cam here again today. Today we have new parts to install on the C6 Grand Sport, so it's a good day. Let me go grab the goodie. Let me go grab those goodies and show you what I bought for this beauty. All right, and here we have it. We have a nice set of smoked LED side markers for the vet. This will help complete the murdered out look of the car a little bit. I'm not trying to go for a murdered look, but let's be honest, anything overstock for the side markers is gonna look way better. Here's what one of the bad boys looks like out of the packaging. Oh, that's just, that's so satisfying. <laughs> I'm gonna get fingerprints on it now, but man, is that satisfying. But as you can see, it's completely blacked out. Um, obviously, when the car is on, you're gonna see the LED and the color of the side marker. Can't wait to get these guys on. And the install is actually really simple on them, so let me go ahead and show you how to do that. Now seriously, guys, this job really is simple. All you have to do for the rear side markers for this car is you just need to remove this very rightmost tail light and obviously the very most left-hand tail light for the driver's side. And all that requires is one T15 torque bit. So let me go ahead and get started on removing this guy right now. All right, just like that, we got the bit removed. I'm just gonna grab and pull on that guy. And just like that, you have your tail light removed. This honestly might be the easiest car to remove tail lights on ever. What the heck? That was like... Be wary, these tail lights are also cheap. I just tried disconnecting the clip to it and it broke. So, careful with your factory tail lights. I would just leave them connected so that way you don't go and break a tab like I just did. So, then basically, you're just gonna wanna stick your hand in there, unclip the connector, remove the two tabs, and that little side piece right there, that little side marker, will be right out. Okay, and just like that, we have the old tail light out. Uh, if you have kind of fatter hands like I do, it's kind of difficult to actually reach it and connect it, but let's go ahead and get that new one connected, and we'll go ahead and make sure it works first, obviously, before we put it in, and see what it looks like. So you're gonna take the old light bulb housing out of the light, and you simply connect it now to the LED. And you'll just go ahead and prong and twist that bad boy in just like that. And like I preached earlier, we're gonna check to see that this uh, works correctly on it. Simplest way to do this is just hit the unlock button on your key fob. Boom, there we go. You have a nice, solid, cool looking red strip. Heck yeah. One thing you wanna check though is make sure that you actually have the passenger side. Uh, this was the driver's side one, so I'm gonna go grab the correct one now. <laughs> All right, guys, and just like that, we have those lights fitted. Now, I don't know if the camera's making those look a little yellow. They're totally red. It, I think it's just the angle there that you're seeing them. But these are not the yellow side markers. <laughs> oh, yeah, see, it turns red when I do that. I don't know what this camera's picking up, Well, All right guys, and as far as the front wheel goes here, you're just gonna have to remove these five pins up here. Um, you can remove more of the fender well, but honestly, I was able to get it out without having to do that. So just remove those five, and you should have plenty of access to it. And just like that, we have our last tail light installed. I'm just checking to make sure it lights up. Sure enough, it does. That looks sexy as hell. Jeez, hell yeah. <laughs> I'll get a shot of what it looks like with the uh, the car not on as well too. All right, markers are installed everywhere. As you can see, they really blend in nicely. You can't even really notice them. They don't stick out at all when you go and look at the car with them off, which is a nice plus. Let's go around the rear of the car. Rear fender here, same deal. Keeps it nice, subtle, blacked out, but nothing too crazy at the same time. Here's another shot when we have those things on here. You can see it's a nice thin line, nice thin modern LED line. 
work our way over to the back here. For some reason they like to turn up like yellow looking on the camera. I promise you to my naked eye they are red. I'm not sure why they're doing that. They're red in this shot. But yeah, they look real nice. I'm excited to see what they're gonna look like in the dark as well too. I think it's gonna make a nice little touch. All right guys, that is gonna do it for the video today. I hope you guys enjoyed the installation video and I hope you think it looks as good as I do. I think the car looks much, much better like this now. It really just brings out a more put together look. Brings it a little bit more into the modern era with the sharper LEDs. And it also makes it look slightly more murdered out. Not that I'm trying to go for a murdered out look or anything. Once again, thanks for watching and for your support. Make sure you leave a like on this video. Leaving the like helps my videos get suggested by YouTube's algorithm. So taking just a couple of seconds to go down there and leave a like does a lot for me. Also, if you enjoy my content and you're not already subscribed to me, feel free to subscribe to me. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll catch you next time.